Welcome to Chat Chow, an online weekly show interviewing the personalities behind Florida's food scene. On today's episode, we'll be speaking with executive chef Jeff McGinnis of Yardbird. Let's go in and check out some Southern cuisine. We're drinking some of our famous bourbon cocktails. We have an awesome bourbon list here. So this is our pork chop, which is, in my opinion, our signature. It's hard to get a signature when you've only been open for four or five weeks. But uh, <laughs> this is called the pork chop. So you've got a little bit of Dijon mustard, some smoked pears that we smoke in our smoke route bag, bourbon, and uh, some fresh thyme there. This over here that I have is a blackberry lemonade. I right. love lemonade. Now, I want to start off by saying congrats on the success of Yardbird. I yes. know it's hard to get a reservation on the weekend. I feel like everybody's talking about it. You guys are so packed. Why Southern food? Explain to our Chat Chow viewers um, Southern food. Well, why not Southern food? It's something that hasn't really been brought to Miami yet. So we, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. I grew up in the panhandle of Florida, like underneath Alabama. My grandparents and my parents grew up in Alabama on farms. And I grew up literally immersed in Southern food, Southern cuisine. And um, from there I moved to Charleston, South Carolina. So it's all I knew for a long time. Uh, I got to Miami about seven years ago and I was just amazed at how little amounts of Southern food it was. I want to talk about the decor. The decor is thoughtful. It's awesome. I mean, from the bar stools to the kitchen utensils you have on the beer taps. Mm -hmm. What's the story behind the decor? There's got to be well, some story. The kitchen utensils, my partner John, his uh, grandmother had an old farm and some of those tools are from my grandparents and his grandparents. So we took some of our little things and rather than put them in the kitchen and let the cooks destroy them, we decided to display them <laughs> somewhere and we thought what a better place to, uh, to display them. It is so, then, so unique. Yeah, Love yeah, it. and then the rest of the decor, I have another partner named Chris who really took his time. We picked out a lot of things. The wood on the wall is from an old barn in North Carolina that we ripped down. And then the roof, we got lucky. That's uh, original roof from the 1800s It was up there. This was an old grocery store. It definitely does have that comforting, homey feel it, when you walk in. It is. It's, the whole idea. it's the first thing. I mean, you just feel at home, and I love it. Well, Food. Let's talk about food. You guys are open mm -hmm. for lunch and dinner. What are some of the signature menu items? Uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's hard to lay your finger on signature, but of course the fried chicken. Um, you know, we named the place Yardbird, so we take a lot of pride in that. We tested, I don't know, probably 50 recipes, and we wound up going back to, with the biscuits and the chicken, we wound up going back to recipes that were from like the 1800s, and re really like the old proven recipes one time and time again so the recipe that we have now is basically a version of John my partner his grandmother's recipe so we brine the chicken for about uh, a day day and a half and then we bread it and fry it up it's it's amazing that explains our one of our viewers Lucia wrote in and she's like I want to know I want you to ask him how that fried chicken is so finger licking good you know what I mean <laughs> it, it we'd say it's a secret but really it is just a good old regular recipe that everybody's been using for a long time. We just brine the chicken, we take a lot of care of it. When you brine the chicken, you get a lot of flavor inside the chicken. It's another word for marinating brine. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, for those, that do, those of you that don't know. Exactly. Now, you guys are uh, just launched for brunch, but it's a new mm -hmm. thing, right? What are some of those? Let's talk about that menu a little sure, bit. Sure, sure. Actually, today's Saturday, so we're back there cooking it up right now. Um, obviously, all the regulars, the, the southern favorites, the pancakes, the waffles, uh, we make all of our own bacon in-house here, so the bacon takes about two weeks to make. We get the bellies in, we brine it, another word for marinating, <laughs> and then we wind up smoking it for about a day and a half. All the staples are there, and then we have a few, uh, few of our extra special dishes. Okay. Most people associate southern food with being heavy. Mm. Do you guys offer any options yeah, that obviously. aren't so heavy? No, that was a big conversation when we opened the place. We didn't want to be pigeonholed as this, wow, I can only go there whenever I'm working out or on a diet. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, or just off of a diet. No, but we, we definitely have the fried chicken and the ribs and a lot of those heavy items. But over half the menu, especially for lunch, is dedicated towards folks that typically would go out to a normal lunch in South Beach. Right. Yeah. You'd find plenty of stuff to eat here, I promise. It's not for me. <laughs> now, how does No, we have a lot of fish, we have a lot okay. of shrimp, we have a lot of items like that, and a lot of vegetarian items, and definitely our side dishes and vegetable sides and stuff like that. We took our time, thought it out. Plenty of stuff without butter, plenty of stuff that's not fried, yes. All right, good, good to know. Yeah. And how does your um, 
rabbit and alligator stew cell in the uh, trendy South Beach It area. sells very well. You know, I think that I think that it was, um, when, when we were building this place, I had plenty of people come in like, are you sure this is going to work? And I knew it was going to work, you know. There's plenty of people out there who are foodies and who also just want to step outside the box and are tired of going to steakhouses all the time. And, you know, we, we have, yeah, it's, it's almost a version of gumbo, if you will. But uh, it does. It has the alligator from the Everglades. Um, it's got the smoked rabbit from a friend of mine who's got a farm up near Jacksonville. And uh, we really took our time with a lot of these dishes. And we picked out a lot of stuff that is regional to the southeast. And you know, local to me is still Florida, Alabama, Georgia. So we pull in a lot of stuff from those areas. A lot of farms in Alabama and Georgia are bringing us a lot of stuff right now. So, And we're not really here to, to set these prices super high. We've got a lot of... Uh, appetizers and entrees that you could share with people and you could get in and out of here and only spend 25 bucks or something. That's something to be said for a restaurant like that definitely, in South Beach. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. We interviewed Monica from Yelp. She's yes. the community manager and she had a question for you. She just wanted to know what your favorite meal was growing up. My favorite meal growing up was? I grew up on my grandparents' farm in Tuttle Springs and we used to always wait until my, my grandparents were uh, making, my grandma would make ice cream from scratch. They would take the milk and everything and they made it, everything off the farm, the eggs from the chickens, everything. So there was something about her ice cream that was just amazing. It was very rich, very creamy, and we had a peach tree out there, so she would make this peach ice cream that I remember vividly. Okay, so I gotta, I'm gonna throw it totally random here. Yeah. You know, you drink, you come, you have a fabulous time. I know I did the first night. I tried probably, I've tried every bourbon drink you guys Right, had. yeah, we remember. We had to get yeah. the cops in here and get you out. <laughs> well, I'm walking to the bathroom and I can't find it. Was that done uh, intentionally? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hidden uh, trap. Yeah, no, we, we put, I don't know why. We put up the wood and we kind of, instead of putting all the hinges and everything, we tried to keep the wood It's like a normal. secret door. And, yeah, it's like a secret patches way back there. All right, all right. You didn't, uh, you made it in time, I right? made it in time. You I made it in there. have any accidents? No, no, no. Okay. You can tell me after the camera's on, I'll let I guess. You know, yeah. We're looking for sound bites afterwards. <laughs> well, anyways, cheers. Cheers. Thanks again. No, thanks for coming. Really? I appreciate it. Love Chat Chow TV.